everybody. Welcome back to Meals with Marsha. Today I'm going to be making some ham rolls. This is a great little uh, low carb uh, finger food, side dish, snack, whatever you want to call it. And I'm excited to show it to you. So let's get started. Um, I have a few different versions. Uh, I'm going to do the first one, the first version first with the green onions. This is a recipe I got from my uh, Aunt Janice. She's uh, passed away now. She's been gone for about four or five years. And she's my mom's youngest sister. And I can remember when I was a little girl standing in her kitchen watching her make these. So this is an old, old recipe. So like I said, I'm excited to show you. So the first version is I'm gonna do the little green onions. I just bought a pack of these green onions. You can buy them in your produce section. And I've washed them, but I'm gonna cut these little ends off and we're gonna get those ready. Do that for you. Like I said, I've already washed them. And sometimes um, when you, um, get these you'll get the blades that are a little bit like they're kind of um just hanging down you want to pull those excess ones off now we're not going to need the length of this because we're going to be using this ham so i'm not sure how long i'm going to make them but i'm going to show you how to do it we're going to use a lot of paper towels today guys you have to keep everything dry when you're doing this and i just bought a pack of let me tear this off so i don't make a mess with it i just bought i call it the square ham or the rectangle ham and it's uh, just the black horse. You want the, the rectangle shaped. And you can buy any kind you want. You can just buy cooked ham. You don't even have to buy um, the black horse, but that's what I bought. And you're just gonna take one slice of that. You have to be really careful. And you want all the liquid off of that, okay? So I'm just gonna take a napkin. I'm just gonna blot that. All right. And then you're gonna take your um, onion and you're gonna measure it. Cut it right there. All right, and you can save these uh, green ends, guys. You can save them for other stuff uh, if you want to. And then you're gonna have to have some cream cheese. And I bought the whipped kind. I found that the whipped is easier to spread. So we're gonna use that today. And you're just gonna make sure that the top piece of your ham is dry, and then you're just gonna push that on there. And spread it out really good. This takes a little bit of time, but it's a great little appetizer if you're wanting to do a finger food or an appetizer, or if you just want a good low carb snack to have in the refrigerator, it's amazing. And they're really pretty when you get them all made and you roll them up and you cut them. They're really pretty. I'm gonna show you here in a little bit how we're gonna do that. All right, and then you're just gonna take, I guess we'll start from this side. You're gonna take your uh, little green onion and you're just gonna start rolling it. You're gonna roll it, and then you're just gonna seal up. And you're gonna set that aside, and we're gonna do a couple more, and then I'm gonna show you how to cut them and put them on the tray. Okay, there's another piece. You want, I probably can use the same napkin, just kinda of block that. Make sure the liquid's off so your stuff will spread easy. Like I said, as a kid, I remember watching my Aunt Janice make these. She had a, her and my Uncle Charles uh, lived in a, uh, a double wide trailer up on a big tall hill around the corner from where Charles's parents lived. And we were we were growing up and I'd go over there and play with uh, my cousins, Janie and Pee Wee. Pee Wee's the same age as me. Janie was about two and a half years younger than me. But I always played with them. And uh, Janice was always cooking something in the kitchen. She was a great cook. All right, let me cut that. And I can remember eating these as a kid, and I really didn't like onions, but I liked these. If that, that's a strange thing, but I love the taste of this together. So you gotta get that up. All right. Now there's one more. I'm gonna do this last one. I'm gonna show you how to do that, and then I have a different version I'm gonna show you as well. All right, let's just pat that off. Right. Like I said, you can save these right here in the refrigerator and use them, like chop them up on top of dishes and stuff if you like that. Some people like the little chives. This one. Then this is, like when I see these little green onions, I don't know why, it makes me think of spring. 
And maybe it's cause those wild onions pop up in the grass and you can smell them when the grass gets cut. So maybe that's why it makes me think of spring. I'm not sure, but I love them. And they're good for you. Onions are good for you. Okay, see if I can push that back in here. And you're just gonna roll. All right, now I've got three here. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut them across this way. Can get a little bit messy but it's okay and if you if you do this ahead of time you can leave them whole like this and you can wrap them in saran wrap and chill them in the refrigerator and then pull them out and cut them right before you serve them but i'm trying to do all this one time and then you just place them on a little plate this plate i wanted to share this let me tell you this story too my cousin paula she goes in all these different places and she found these little plates for me they're so cute i got a set of like maybe six and she said, I thought those were so cute. And I thought those would be so precious, like to serve, you know, little bite-sized stuff on. So I've got them over there and she gave them to me as a gift. And I have enjoyed them. They have just been so cute. All right, and that's how you do it. And then you cut the rest of them up. And you can do them, if you're trying to make it stretch further, you can also cut them a little smaller than this, but these are the great, great little finger foods. And like I said, they're low carb. And a lot of people like that. They want a good snack that's not gonna mess up their diet or their blood sugar. And like I said, they wouldn't be quite as messy if you put them in the refrigerator and let them sit for a little bit before you did this. Okay, Ooh, drop that one. I don't know if that one's gonna stand up or not. It's kind of wobbly. All right, guys, and that's that's those. And I'm gonna show you a different version that I learned down the road um, when I got older. And this is this is one that if you don't like onions. You'll probably like this one because most everybody likes pickles. So now I'm going to take some of the uh, kosher dill spears, any brand you like. And what you need to do is you need to take a few of them out and you place them on a paper towel to let some of the liquid get off. And then you're going to take another paper towel and you're going to press it and get some of that juice out. Because like I said, this needs to be dry so you can get it all spread together and worked over. Okay, so let's start with this. I think I'm gonna go, I may be able to go this way with it, I don't know, we'll see. If it don't work, we'll turn around and go this way. Hopefully it will. You're gonna stretch cream cheese on there, just like you do the other. Most everybody, like I said, loves sour pickles. Some people don't really like sweet pickles. I like pickles in all shape, form, and fashion. It's one of my favorite little snacks is a pickle. All right, let's see if we can roll this one up this way. It's not gonna roll very far, but oh yeah, we got that. All right, we got this one. And I'm just gonna, for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one and show you. So you would do the same thing, just cut it across. Like I said, these are amazing little snacks and everybody loves them, like at showers and Get togethers. Oop, that one on the end doesn't want to stay together. I'll just have that one as a snack. How about that? That one either. Okay. All right. So that's how you do it. I'm going to do these other ones. But what you could do, like I said, if you if these are hard to cut, which they're a little bit harder to cut when it's fresh, but for time's sake, I'm doing this to show you the demonstration. But you could. Put them on there, roll them up, and then wrap them. And I can do it, I can probably show you. Let me do that real quick. So you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Get you some cream cheese. I'll have to get my saran wrap out in just a second. And like I said, this works better. You can use any kind of ham you want, but it, I think it works better with, with the rectangle shaped ham because you can roll it easier because it's square, or rectangle, not square. All right, guys, roll this one. Whoop, that 
pickle's a little fat. All right, so what you could do is instead of cutting them right away, like I did, you can get you some saran wrap. Let me grab that. over here. And these are a good making head, guys. You can go ahead and make them, and then you can cut them up when you're ready to serve them. And like I said, I, they would do even better. I've had to do that before. And then you can just wrap it in saran wrap. Just like that. Now let me fold it this way so it'll work better. Now this cling wrap gets on you. And you would put that in the refrigerator and you would let it chill for like an hour or so or even the day before. And you could take them out right before you're ready to serve them and you could cut them up. Or if you're just eating these on your own, you can leave them whole. You can just put them in a little container, take them to work with you for a snack, and then you just bite it like it's a hot dog or whatever. But anyway, there you have it. Ham rolls. Like I said, the first one with my uh, green onions are my Aunt Genesis version. And this other version with the pickles or the one that I had found later. And I also want to try one and see what they taste like. Let's see here. I think I'm going to get this one because it didn't stand up very good. That one. Oh, yeah. That crunch of that green onion and then that creaminess of the cream cheese and then the saltiness of the ham, that's delicious. And there you have it. A little tray. And I'm going to try my pickle one over here that fell. It's falling apart for sure. Mm, yeah, crunch from the pickle, creaminess from the cream cheese, so good. All right, guys, there it is, ham rolls. Try this and let me know what you think. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Meals with Marcia. And if you click the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, I'm going to put all the ingredients in the description and how to make this recipe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.